very good afternoon okay what were we discussing yesterday we have discussed we have completed about uh, uh, what is uh, speed what is velocity what is uh, distance what is displacement the differentiate with that then acceleration okay uniform acceleration then instantaneous acceleration etc then we have looked into three equations of motion and we have solved some problems related to that okay today also we'll uh, continue with some problem later uh, we'll discuss more concepts okay we'll be discussing about the graphs okay a displacement time graph a velocity time graph and acceleration time graph not today maybe tomorrow everything together maybe little uh, confusion okay <clears throat> now consider an object okay of a mass m let it be starting from this point a moves to a point b okay object of mass m is moving from a point a to a point b uh, assuming that or this object is moving from a to b in uh, by or with the velocity v1 for half the distance for half the distance its velocity is v1 and for other half velocity is v2 okay and my question is find the average velocity of the particle or object okay now object is moving from point a to b okay for first half distance it is moving with velocity v1 and second half distance it is moving with velocity v2 and my question is to my question is you are asked i mean to get the average velocity how to do that what are the equation for uh, how to find out average velocity how to find out average velocity total displacement by total time taken okay total displacement divided by total time taken here displacement is not given only initial velocity i mean velocity v1 and v2 they are given so i need to get the average velocity in terms of v1 and v2 for that what i am doing is let me assume that the distance between a and b is 2s as my assumption i can take it as s i can take it as x but for simplicity i am taking it as 2s that means distance between a and c this distance will be s distance between c and b will be okay and let t1 be the time taken by the object to move from a to b t1 is the time taken by the object to move from a to b and t2 is the time taken by the object to move from c to b a to c t1 c to b time taken is t2 okay now you tell me <clears throat> what is uh, uh, t1 how to find out t1 from the given data or assumed data distance between a and c is s1 velocity is v1 time is t1 so how to find out t1 hmm? you know that you know that distance by time equal to velocity or t is equal to distance by velocity the distance hello not audible properly okay fine so distance by time is velocity or displacement by time is velocity here you are asked to find out time time is equal to displacement by velocity here it is s by t1 okay similarly t2 is equal to s by v2 total time total time is t1 plus T two, that is equal to s by v one plus s by v two. That is equal to s into one by v one plus one by v two. That is v one 
S by V1 plus S by V2. V1 plus V2 divided by V1 V2. So total time T is equal to S into V1 plus V2 by V1 V2. What is total displacement? Total displacement is S plus S, 2S. So average velocity V average is equal to 2S by total displacement by total time is S into V1 plus V2 by V1. S into V1 plus V2 by V2 V1 V2 by So you got the formula for V R that is two V one V two by V one plus V two. Okay, this is a general case. So, if in a question, if it is given that. Uh, when an object is moving from a position to another and for half distance half the distance it is moving with some particular velocity and for another half it is moving with some other particular velocity then average velocity can be found directly by using this average velocity can be found directly by using this okay fine spandana spandana Sudeep? Yes, sir. Clear? Is that clear, Sudeep? Sir, it can be V1 T1 plus V2 T2 divided by T1 plus uh, voice is not so clear. Fine. Now, again, the same object is moving from point A to a point B. Okay. And for a time, particular time t, it is moving with the velocity v1. And for another time t itself, okay, it is moving with the velocity v2. That means the whole journey is divided by two equal time intervals. For first time interval t, it is moving with velocity v1. And for the next time interval t, it is moving with velocity v2. You are asked to find out. V average for the motion. First to find V average. V average equal to total displacement divided by total time taken. So tell me what is total time taken? What's the total time taken for the motion? Yes, my dear. Please tell me what's the total time taken for the motion? Total time t plus t q t. Total time is t plus t q t. Displacement, total displacement. Let S1 be the displacement from A to C and S2 be the displacement from C to B. Then total displacement is S1 plus S2. What is S1? Sn can be written as V1 T1. Okay, that is V1 T plus S2 is V2 T. So total displacement S is equal to V1 T plus V2 T. Okay. S1 by T equal to V1 or V1 equal to, sorry, S1 equal to V1 T. 
S2 is equal to V2T. Total displacement is V1T plus V2T. Okay. V average can be found is equal to total displacement by total time. Total displacement is V1 plus V2 into T. And total time taken is 2T. So V average is V1 plus V2 by 2. Average velocity in this case is V1 plus V2 by 2. Clear? Fine. We need to discuss about the different graphs. We'll discuss that a little later. First, we'll solve some problems. Okay. Write down. Write down the question. Okay. A train moving along a straight track, train, a train moving along a straight track cross a point with the velocity u. Okay, the train, uh, you add one word here, the engine of a train, the engine of a train. Cross a point with the velocity u. Okay. And the last compartment of the train, and the last compartment of the train, and the last compartment of the train cross the same point cross the same point last compartment cross with velocity v cross the same point with velocity v then find the velocity with which the middle point of the train cross that point. Find the velocity with which the middle point of that train cross that point. Is that question clear? Hmm? There is a point, okay, maybe a flag, okay. A train is moving. The train, engine of the train crosses with velocity u. Later, the last compartment of the train crosses with velocity v. My question is, what is the velocity with which The middle point cross the point. How to find that? First, read the question and write what is given. Let today do that now, or you want to try? Okay, let me try it. Okay. Let yes be the length of the train. Let S be the length of the train. Okay. By the time the engine reaches this point, or initially the engine crosses this point and slowly it moves, and later the last compartment crosses the same point. By that time, what is the displacement traveled? What is the displacement traveled? The length of the train. Yes, correct. Yes. So initial velocity is u is initial velocity. Okay. U is initial velocity. V is final velocity. 
and s is displacement can we find out acceleration of the train from this point this three data acceleration what is acceleration v square is equal to u square plus 2 as or v square minus u square by 2 s is equal to acceleration now i need to find the velocity with which the middle point cross that right that is this is the case train is there okay this is the engine part here is the middle point and what is the distance traveled by the train when the middle point cross this pole or reference point s by 2 total length of the train is yes the so displacement traveled is s by 2 acceleration is given initial velocity is given you need to find the final velocity or velocity with which the middle point cross this how to do that v dash square is equal to u square initial velocity square plus 2 into a acceleration is v square minus u square by 2s 2a into s s is displacement is s by 2 2 2 gets cancel that is equal to v dash square is equal to u square plus v square minus u square by 2 yes is cancel that is equal to 2 u square plus v square minus u square by 2 that is u square plus v square by 2 v dash square is u square plus v square by 2 Or v dash is equal to square root of u square plus v square by two. The velocity with which the middle point cross the reference point is u square plus u square by two. Clear? The fine. Rakesh. Those are only. Rakesh, Soumya, Pandana, Sudeep, Swati, Vinayak. I hope it is clear. Okay. Fine. You go uh, write down the next problem. Okay. Write down. Okay. Uh, velocity of an object. Some. Uh, Simple problems related to equations of motion. The velocity of an object depends on time. Velocity of an object depends on time. According to the equation. V is equal to twenty plus point point one t square. Velocity of an object depends on time. According to the equation, V is equal to twenty plus point one t square. The body is undergoing option A. Zero acceleration. B. Uniform acceleration. C. Non-uniform acceleration. And D. Uniform retardation. Velocity is given by twenty plus point one t square. You are asked to find the nature of its acceleration. How to find that acceleration is equal to dv by dt. Differentiate this equation. What will you get? D by Uniform dt. Uniform acceleration. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Fine. So it is equal to two into t into point one. That is 
0.2t acceleration is 0.2t tell me whether acceleration is constant or uniform or non uniform or it is retardation you tell me here hmm see given that acceleration is 0.2t that means acceleration depends on time acceleration depends on time that means what when time increases acceleration increases so acceleration is uniform or non uniform uniform non uniform non uniform acceleration depends on time so if when t is equal to 1 second what is acceleration 0.2 meter per second square when t is equal to 2 second what is acceleration 0.4 meter second square when t is equal to 3 second what is acceleration 0.6 meter per second square see as time changes acceleration changes so acceleration is non uniform okay acceleration is non uniform clear listen here so which option is correct option option c okay next question displacement of a body displacement of a body as a function of time is given by s is equal to 5t square minus 6t displacement of a body as a function of time t is given by s is equal to 5t square minus 6t the time at which the velocity of the body becomes zero is the time at which the velocity of a body becomes zero is you are asked to find the time at which the velocity of a body becomes zero option a 3 by 5 second option b 2 by 5 second option c 2 second option d 1 second take okay, a find out what the what how to find 3 by 5 hmm? second hmm yes tell me 3 by 5 second yes correct who is this swati swati yes good swati fine see very easy first find out velocity velocity is equal to ds by dt differentiate maadi next agutte 10t minus 6 we are telling to find out the time at which velocity becomes zero equate zero is equal to 10t minus 6 10t is equal to 6 or t is equal to 6 by 10 that is equal to 3 by 5 clear you see next question a particle starts from rest at the origin a particle starts from rest at the origin when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 and moves along positive x axis and moves along moves along positive x axis moves along positive x axis with acceleration with acceleration a is equal to 2 meter per second square the acceleration a is equal to 2 meter per second square will stop after 4 seconds after 4 seconds direction of acceleration is reversed direction of acceleration is reversed
at what time at what time it is at origin again at what time it is at origin again read the question again no object starts from rest from origin t is equal to 0 initial velocity is 0 and it moves along positive x axis okay with acceleration a is equal to 2 meter per second square okay after 4 second when t is equal to 4 to 4 t is equal to 4 second it continues to move that after that after 4 second what happens acceleration is direction of acceleration is reversed or acceleration is minus 2 meter per second square after 4 second acceleration is minus 2 meter per second square the last to find t dash at at which the object return back to origin the last to find t dash after which the object return back to origin can you try try one what time it is at origin again okay fine 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 what time it is at origin again okay but that's the question try 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 one more minute those who are online please try okay tell me what is initial velocity fine listen zero okay acceleration 2 meter per second time given is t is equal to 4 second tell me what is the displacement traveled by the object in first 4 second displacement travel first half a t square that is equal to 16 meter yes or no Root a plus half it is displacement traveled in first four second is sixteen meter. Yes, fine. And what is the velocity attained by this object? T is equal to u plus a t. A is two, t is four. It is eight meter per second. Velocity is eight meter per second. Yes or no? Now listen. Now the object is here. What is its velocity? Eight meter per second. in order to reach the origin what is the displacement it has to travel minus 16 meter from this position yes or no listen which is not to reach origin from this point it has to travel a distance of minus 16 meter and what is the acceleration minus 2 meter per second find out sc is equal to ut plus half at square s is minus 16 Equal to u initial velocity. Velocity at this point eight meter per second into t minus half into a into t square is t square minus eighty minus sixteen is equal to zero. From this, you can find out the value of time t. How to find? 
solution is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a that is minus b is 8 plus or minus square root of b square is 64 minus 4 into 1 into minus 16 plus 64 divided by 2 this is 8 plus 8 root 2 by 2 8 plus or minus 8 root 2 okay so 8 listen here 8 plus or minus 8 root 2 okay 8 minus 8 root 2 will be negative time cannot be negative so time is 8 plus 8 root 2 by 2 that is equal to 4 plus 4 root 2 time is 4 plus 4 root 2 from here time taken from to reach from this point to this point, from this final point to initial point is 4 plus 4 root 2. But they are asking the total time. So it is from this point to this point, from initial position to final position, it takes 4 seconds. So total time taken is 4 seconds plus 4 plus 4 root 2. That is 8 plus 4 root 2. Is 8 plus 4 root 2. They are asking the time after which it reaches the origin again. So you need to calculate the time from zero. So from the final position to origin, it takes four plus four root two second. So total time taken is four second plus four plus four root two, that is eight plus four root two. Yes. Minus b plus or minus b square minus four ac by two a minus b minus of minus eight eight plus or minus square root of b square is 64 minus 4 into 1 into minus 16 plus 64 divided by 2 that is 8 plus or minus 2 into 64 is 8 root 2 divided by 2 so 4 plus 4 root 2 total time taken is 8 plus 4 root 2 okay done next question a particle moves along a straight line or x particle moves along a straight line or x full stop at time t at time t at time t the distance of the particle from the origin is given by Along the straight line. At time t, distance of the particle from the origin s is given by s is equal to 40 plus 12t minus t cube. 40 plus 12t minus t cube. Okay. How long would the particle travel? before coming to rest. How long would the particle travel before coming to rest? Find out. We are asked to find out the displacement before it comes to rest. Displacement traveled by the particle before it comes to rest. Okay. Find out. What to do? First, given you need to find the displacement traveled by this particle particle before it comes to rest. So you first find out velocity and compare that to zero. How to find out velocity? V is equal to ds by dt. That is equal to 12 minus 3t square. That must be equal to zero. So time will get 4 t square is. 4 seconds square, t is equal to 2 seconds. Correct? Time is 2 seconds. 
when t is equal to two second velocity is zero so till that the object will be moving till that the object will be moving okay substitute yes displacement traveled in t is equal to two second is equal to 40 plus 12 into 2 minus t cube h is equal to 40 plus uh, 24 64 minus h equal to 56 traveled by the particle before it comes to rest is this 56 meter Okay, that is 56 meters in total displacement of the particle. Okay. Mm, how long would the particle travel before coming to rest? It is equal to. Yeah, I'll clarify that question. So displacement of the particle when t is equal to 2 is uh, 56 meter. Okay. What is its displacement when t is equal to 0? What is its displacement when t is equal to 0? Yes, displacement when t is equal to 0. That means initial displacement from origin. How much? 40 plus 0 minus 0. That is? 40 meter. Yes or no? When t is equal to 2 second, its displacement is 56 meter. When t is equal to 0, its displacement is 40 meter. And they are asking how long would it travel, not the total displacement from the origin. How long would it travel before coming to rest? Initially, this is the origin. Initial position is here at 40 meter. Okay. And later, after 2 seconds, it reaches here, 56 meter. So they are not asking the total displacement of the particle. They are asking how long would it travel before coming to rest. It means distance between 40 and 56 is 16 meters. Okay. Total displacement is 56. Okay. But they are asking how long would it travel before coming to rest. Then that must be the final displacement minus initial displacement. Next question. The acceleration A of a particle, the acceleration A of a particle, starting from That is according to the relation, acceleration A is equal to alpha t plus beta. The velocity of the particle, the velocity of the particle after time t will be. Do it fast. Velocity of the particle after time t will be. Do it fast. Acceleration is given. So acceleration A is equal to dv by dt. That is equal to alpha t plus beta. Or dv is equal to alpha t dt plus beta dt. 
or velocity integration is equal to alpha t square by 2 plus beta t. Done? Did not understand? See, what is given? Acceleration is given. Correct. Acceleration is alpha t plus beta. What is acceleration? dv by dt. dv by dt is given alpha t plus beta. Or dv is equal to alpha t dt plus beta t. Correct. dt taking that side. Then integrate dv. Integral dv is v. v is equal to alpha t dt is alpha t square by 2 plus beta dt is beta t. Yes. Uh, one more question. A man is 45 meter behind a bus. A man is 45 meter behind a bus. I hope these type of questions were asked for five marks for board exams. Correct? Here it is for four marks. A man is 45 meter behind the bus. When the bus starts accelerating from rest, when the bus starts accelerating from rest, when the bus starts accelerating from rest with an acceleration, with an acceleration, A is equal to 2.5 meter square. With what minimum velocity, with what minimum velocity should the man starts running towards the bus? With what minimum velocity should the man start running towards the bus to catch it in six seconds? To catch it in six seconds. Okay. Man is here, okay, and bus is here at a distance forty five meter, okay. Initial velocity of the bus is given zero and its acceleration is 2.5 meter per second square. Okay. And they are asking you what must be the velocity of man so that he can catch the bus after t is equal to six seconds. Okay, that's a question. Do it. Do it fast. Fast, 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 fast. Six, 
että Fast, 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 fast. Okay, listen. Time up. Time up. Okay, in six seconds, distance moved by the man. What is the distance moved by the man? Velocity of the man into C. That must be 6V. Correct. Okay. And what is the distance the man has to travel? Distance the man has to cover equal to 45 meter plus 45 meter plus distance traveled by the bus. What is the distance traveled by the bus? S is equal to ut. 0 plus half a t square half into a is 2.5 t square is 36 it is 45 plus 18 18 36 36 uh, plus uh, 945 equal to 90 meter the distance the man has to travel is 90 meter and uh, distance the man is going to cover is 6V. If V is his speed or 6V is equal to 90. fifteen meter per second. Got it? Yes. Right. Can I erase it? So see when you draw the diagram and write whatever is given, it will be easy for you to solve. Initially, you may draw the diagram. Later, it may not be needed. Now let's discuss a few graphs related to displacement time graph. There are some displacement time graphs. Okay. First graph. Time is placed, I mean, taken along x axis. Displacement is taken along y axis. And the displacement gra time graph is a line, straight line, parallel to x axis. What does it mean? What's the meaning of this graph? Displacement time graph is a straight line parallel to x axis. You tell me what's the meaning of this graph? Yes, tell me what's the meaning of this graph? Particle a particle is at rest. That means when t is equal to one second, the particle is at some displacement. When t is equal to two second, the particle is at the same position as maybe five meter example. When t is equal to three second, the particle is at the same means particle is at rest. Particle is at rest. That means velocity of the particle is zero. Acceleration is zero. Velocity is zero, acceleration is zero, particle is at rest. Okay, fine. Next graph. Suppose if the displacement time graph is parallel to y-axis, What's the meaning of this? What's the meaning of this? The particle changes its position even before the time changes. Means this is like you know, from the a particle when t is equal to zero, the particle is at zero. Then that t is equal to zero, particle is one meter, two meter, three meter, four meter, etc., etc., etc. Means particle is accelerating with infinite velocity. That is not possible. That is not possible, theoretical, just theoretical, practically it is not possible. So uh, you may not be 
able to come across you may not come across graph displacement time graph as shown in the figure okay if the graph is displacement time graph is given like this that means the particle is accelerating with infinite acceleration same time particle is at 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter etc etc it's like when i when i when i, when I switch on a torch the light reaches infinite distance within no time okay same way right particle is at 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter 4 meter 3 meter etc etc when t is equal to particular time okay practically it is not possible okay fine next I have a displacement time graph as shown in the figure. Displacement time graph is as shown in the figure. What's the meaning of that? <coughs> mm -hmm. Displacement time graph is a straight line making some angle theta with uh, <coughs> x-axis. This means particle is moving with the uh, uniform velocity particle covers equal displacement in equal time interval particle covers equal displacement in equal intervals of time or it is moving with uniform velocity and if you have a uh, displacement time graph and if the theta angle theta with x axis is given and theta is equal to delta s by delta t that is equal to velocity and theta is equal to velocity a slope of this slope is equal to velocity of the particle okay yeah, and theta is equal to slope of velocity of the particle now one example displacement time graph of two objects a and b is as shown in the figure so this is a this is for b angle a makes is 30 degree angle b makes is uh, 60 degree okay displacement time graph of two objects a and b is as shown in the figure okay find the ratio v a by v b find the ratio v a by v b Find it. I don't know. Find it and tell me the answer. Find it. VA from this graph is VA is tan theta 1 or tan theta 1 is tan 30. Tan 30. And VB is tan theta 2, that is tan 60. Tan 30 is step sin 30 by cos 30. Sin 30 is uh, 1 by 2, cos 30 is uh, root 3 by 2. So, sin tan 30 is 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3. And the tan 60 is sin 60 by cos 60, root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2, that is root 3. Yes. So, VA by VB is 1 by root 3 by root 3, that is 1 by 3. Correct? 1 by 3. So, V A by V B is 1 by 3. You may have options like A is equal to 3 by 1, V is equal to 1 by 3, C is equal to 1 by 2, D is equal to none of these. So, your answer will be 1 by 3. 4 mark, pass, qualified, go. You see? tomorrow fine okay dear students those who are online uh, let me wind up this class today and we'll be discussing more on graph 2.0